And so we thank you, God. Oh, God, take us to the terrible tree. Take us to the tree. Teach us how to be the tree. By the tree that's planted by the waters, the good waters that bring forth fruit in the season. And the only way to become the tree is to be planted and rooted in the word of God. Hallelujah. Yeah, I did just go on New Testament to Old Testament a little bit. Sometimes I cheat like that. I know. Thank you, God. I don't want to act like a tree no more. I don't want to act like a tree no more. Right? Because a, a tree that acts like a tree has a, a strong uh, outer edge, outer uh, surroundings, but a, a soft seat in a court. I don't want to act like a tree no more. Hallelujah. When I say that I'm meeting, my pastor tell me I need to step outside of my self-righteousness. And I'm not trying to find myself inside of his righteousness, obviously. We told me to step out of self-righteousness. I knew that I need to step inside a sick canoe and find God's righteousness in it. I knew. The message behind that to find, okay, that needs to find some people with sick canoes. Okay, and thanks be to God. It's not far from me. I am the tree. He said I could be like the tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth fruit in the season. Remember? See, what I like about the simile here is God said there's a lot in the end. What I like about the simile here is uh, it's a conjunction type thing, right? But uh, we are growing from worshiping and meditating day and night to be king, not just becoming like the tree that planted. By the good waters that bring forth fruit in the season. He said, You will be like that tree, mama. Like unto, not like unto it. See, before we were, when we were doing the Valley of Dry Bones, we found the unto it. God didn't say unto in this season, right? About the tree. He said, You will be, you will speak and prophesy upon and unto the bones. But only after you become like the tree. He didn't say become unto like the tree, mama. He didn't say make your own tree plant in your garden, till it and plow it and then you become like it when you feel like it he didn't say that but what he did say he said make yourself a simile find me and be like the tree planted by the rather the, the, the rivers of waters that bring forth fruit in the season okay and I promise you I said that from memory that's on one on one of the few scriptures like I say from memory I promise you I said from memory because I can't read that fast I keep telling people I'm not smart they think I am stop giving me credits do what y'all want me to have I don't I'm not that smart I promise you, I don't, most people are going to tell me I, I'm not that dumb. No, 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 I'm not that smart. So I lean on God, kid of But ask me on the wrong day to remember Psalm 1, verse 3. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Ask me outside of the blog to remember when I'm trying to walk this thing out of a hip up with the Philippians 1 6, the Philippians 3 14, the Philippians 4 13, come out of the Philippians 4 6, the Philippians 4 8. Ask me to remember that He gave us peace as a pastor. So all understanding in the sixth of Baba. Ask me that he, uh, did he give us virtue in the eight. Ask me, did he tell me I could do all things through Christ that strengthens me in the four thirteen? And then coming back at the uh, three fourteen, tell me, brother, not counting on myself to have happy then but there's one thing I do. He went from one thing in the three fourteen to uh, all things or all thing <laughs> all things in the four thirteen. Mama can I like flip that? Thing on me, three fourteen to four thirteen. I like the way numbers work sometimes. I, I, I like math, so as I tell them, I ain't feeling about none of that on my own. Hallelujah! Say it with me one more time. I am not that smart. One more time with me. One more time with me. One more time with me. I am not that smart. Let's see that brother. That's not Jamie from last week. I am not that smart. I'm not that smart. That's why I lean on him. I pivot to him. I give him all the glory and the honor, the praise. But it all belongs to him. When I need to find the way I need, God, I need to find you. He that dwells in a secret place. Uh, uh, most, I'm telling y'all, find me at the wrong time. In the wrong transitional period. I won't even remember the address of most of these scriptures that I spot off. That's why I claim that every time I get up here to say anything. Because I'm asking. I'm like, y'all think I'm so great as he to be inside me so I can do greater things. No, he always said greater things shall I do. So maybe the Bible for Jamie and knowing just that is a greater thing. That's a greater thing. 
Hallelujah. Y'all trying to find me seeking these, all these things in Matthew 6, 33. Yeah. I'm trying to get to the one thing. Matthew. Well, I'm sorry. Psalms. I told y'all 27, 4. I'm trying to find God at the one thing. I don't need all these things. I just need the one. He said, I just need the one. I just need the one. Paul was powerful because he was a Pharisee. Paul gave up on apprehending because apprehending means I not only get the prize, but I do it in front of, in front of your eyes. You got ice in your eyes. You may not make your prize, but I want to make you my prize in front of your eyes so that you see me. I come out and I get it. And the Paul gave up on apprehending when he found Jesus. He said, uh -huh, Whoa! Shall consent continue in. Shall continue in. Right! I'm paused. Shall continue in sin that grace may abound. God forbid, when he met Jesus on the road to Damascus, he said, he said Shall I continue in? I'm like, no, I got to turn around. Wait, I can't find my around. Because what's around? I, I don't, I'm blind. I can't see nothing. So I can't do nothing for myself. So I can't apprehend nor can I walk in this thing. I got to depend on somebody else to come and get me. He gave up on apprehending and apprehending those things. Brother, I count on myself to have apprehended. But there's one thing I do coming out my I got memory lapses. Oh, I uh, right on Paul. So, uh, forget the no thing with y'all behind me. Yeah. <laughs> and look at the world lies ahead. I press to get him out of my Towards the mark, mark me down for something. Hallelujah, mark me down for not apprehending anything. Mark me down for leaving a mark behind. I leave mark behind and I go on into the press. Hallelujah. So you will look, you will reign like David, King David, and even better when you can leave. Apprehending behind. David apprehended a lot, but he didn't depend upon his apprehend in his time. He wasn't looking. He knew that the king king that he had did not depend upon his apprehension because he was anointed. From what age? What? 19, 20? Some say 16, some say 19, 20, some say Elias, some say John the Baptist. Some say something, some say who cares? He was anointed from a young age. Hallelujah. And David knew the only thing that got him to the kingship. Y'all think it's your picture. Looks it ain't about, it ain't about that. Y'all no, think it's about your status change in the church. It's not about that either, Mama. You did not buy the position. You think you applied for it, but you may have applied for it, but you did not apprehend it because God could have easily given it to given it to somebody else. So it's not about that. What is it about, Jamie? Come on, help us, David. Oh, all oh, oh, the glory. The honor, the praises, all oh, they they belong to you. One more time. All the glory, the honor, the praises, all oh, they are oh, the glory. The honor, the praises, all oh, they are oh, the glory. The honor. The praises all day. I'm trying to go easy, y'all, because my insides are burning. My, 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 and I'm not playing. They really are burning. Inside of me is burning. So I'm trying to go easy because you know that the, the, the heart thing is going. My, 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 so I'm trying to go easy, but I'm not going easy on my heart. My, my, with my heart got a praise inside of it. My, my, then out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. My, my, so I got to wait until I get shut up good in this apartment before I release what I could not tell the saints in my apprehension. My, my, they will not understand it if I walk into the, the, the church store. Bam, this is the day. Oh, this is the day that the Lord has made. They wouldn't get that. I didn't understand that. Hallelujah, that the Lord has made. I, I will rejoice. It's not about denominational thing. It's about a, 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 a mindational thing. It's about a mindset thing. When, you're, when you fix your eyes on Jesus the entire week, and you go hard after him, and you knock over any pin in the alley, go right over it if they get in your way of finding the Savior. But They don't understand that. I get violent when it comes to prayer. I get violent when it comes to church. I get violent when it comes to Jesus Christ. They don't understand that. I will put you... On ice, they don't understand it. So I gotta get shut up in the front of This is the day, and I can't sing like I want to because the neighbors don't like it when I scream. So they scream in profanities all day long, but they don't like it when I scream. Praise God, hallelujah. 
This is the day. So I'm real quiet when they're having their day. They hate day. Right? Excuse me. Hell day for the hell again. All day long is for them. That's their day. That's how they worship their God. But I'm not. I don't worship your God. I don't worship your God. So I come. This is my God. And he made this day. And all the glory, the honor, the praises all day, all the glory, the honor, the praises all day, all day long. I wake up this way, and throughout the beginning of my day, I say what I want to say, and they come to say what they want to say, but why they say what they want to say, I still have the day. But my God still reigns over this day. He still made this day. So at the end of the day, from the beginning of the day after to the end of the day, I still worship my God. They belong. Oh, they belong. Who God ever get Spar with me, spar with me. They belong. Belong to you. Oh, they belong to you. Yeah, they they belong to you. 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 Where him go? Say the Lord, rebuke you, rebuke you, rebuke you, rebuke you, rebuke you, rebuke you. You lose, you lose, you lose, you lose, you lose, you lose, yeah, you lose, you lose, yeah, you lose, yeah, you lose, you lose, you lose, you lose, Hallelujah, Yes, God, I'm not about high. God said, which, which, which two do you do you back a bounce between? Which two do you move back and forth between? Right, so that most people have two scriptures that they bounce back and forth between, and they find themselves leaning on those two scriptures. And so, whether you realize or not, you may have one person that knows, seems like they know a wealth of scriptures, but you don't know is the plethora of knowledge rest and rely on two scriptures. Now, here that I mean something that my pastor said. The, 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 the good student would see that the scriptures are interchangeable during your season of life and they interchange seasonably. I know that they come from me. Because it made sense. Hallelujah. Do y'all know if I draw a, 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 a caricature of myself, I would draw myself with a dunce cap? You don't understand. The very things that Lois said about me, I started to take a uh, solace in. And wait, joy too. Rejoice, rejoice. And again, I say rejoice. Oh yeah, I got to get tested for autism. <laughs> I take solace in it. Why? Why do I take solace in the dunce cap of the dumbing uh, down of Jamie? Why do I? Because when she did it, she did not realize uh, she was making a list. Uh, and once she gave me the list, uh, if I was smart, I could pick up the list and say, okay, God, if people are saying this about me, then I look to you on that level. If people are saying this about me, then I look to you on that level. See, God said, last Thursday for me to tell you, I didn't know this is where he was going, Mama. Uh, last Friday, maybe Saturday, sometime Sunday, if you catch me at the end of the day. I believe it was Saturday. Right, but, but he said, he said, find me. Some of y'all try to look to uh, use your transition because transitions are like prepositions, are like conjunctions. Right? If you use them properly, they will not only position you, but they will take you joyfully. See, here's the thing conjunctions connect the thing, but prepositions pre position, right? Position me afore and before her so that I do not have to reposition and go back into it again. One more time, prepositions will position me before. Conjunctions connect the thing, but what I get when I look at that and I say, okay, what's the combination of the two? God, I get the transition. If I let God position me and put me where He wants me to be at His time, at the right time, and at the right place, and I don't rush His blessing, I go to Him and I let Him do that thing. Hallelujah. If I let Him conjunct. 
me, meet me at the juncture, right? The, uh, the juncture, right? The, uh, sort of like the train station, the conjuncture. Meet me at the juncture of it. So, uh, you want your help, you want your miracle from it, uh, uh, dealing with it. Meet me at the juncture of it. When you meet me, God, it ain't a juncture. It will be when you meet me. When you meet me at the terrific tree, at the juncture of it. So, uh, at the time, come on, uh, 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 the sound of the cornet, uh, uh, sap, but saw tree. Thank you, David Lewis for helping me yesterday bye bye ah because god repeated it to me he said if you meet me in the fire bye bye i will not start or stop it i will heat it up jesus don't come in the midst of it in the midst of the fire in the inner prison right in the midst of my sea, in the middle of the valley of dry bones, he only meets me when I'm in the middle of it. Therefore, we must meet Jesus at his timing and his positioning of it. And we can't be giving nobody no passes based on, blah, blah, blah. oh, I like you, you are pretty chemicals. Oh, I like you, you don't have to do it like that. Everybody else has to do it that way. But I'm going to let you get away with it because you look like the church to me today. And what the church took look like, you dress like it. You meet us with the cock and stockings on. You have the cock and the stockings on. You look like what the church should look like. Like and so we'll start with the looks of it about how I think the church should look and not what God is looking for. He said, Meet me at the juncture. Oh man, it'll become the juncture, the, the passing of two streets, uh, right? Uh, uh intersection, right? About uh, intercepting about uh, meet me. Come on, uh, it will be a juncture when you meet me. It ain't a juncture now. It will be uh, when you let go of what you think is best and you're meeting me. Preposition if you want to get it to better and get what I'm saying real. If you know you're supposed to meet God somewhere in three years, go there now. Meet him there now. Get there early. Not to make him move faster, right? But just to be. Hmm. He said, some of us have missed the transition. It's not that they say that God won't ever send the transition back around again. We don't know if he will. We don't know if he won't. That's not my issue to figure out for you. I, I, I just can't speak to it. But what I can say is the transition is the conjunction plus the preposition. You figure it out. You know if you missed. Say la. Conjunction, right? The bridge, right? The conjunction bridges two parties together. Conjunction, junction, right? But C O M C O N, right? So that's a together thing. That's a meeting together thing. Therefore, conjunction means when we meet together, we jump at the same spot. Do you want to make it easier? Well, by meeting a junk thing at the same spot, bring your junk, yourself, your mess, your life. You said you want to get rid of all your mess. Bring it to me. At the time when I said, bring it at the sound of cornet, fruit park sack, but sultry don't simmer, and all other kinds of muse sack. Don't be found bowing down. Get up and go find me. Find the terrapin tree and find out how I want you to do this thing. Huh? Don't preposition yourself. Meet me here, but get there early. The God preposition you. In the preposition of the phrase, right? The preposition of the phrase, it's a it's preposition to take me, right? Somewhere, right? It's a, it's a, a preposition is like uh, the, the word of, right? It is not pivotal of, uh, um, to, for us to figure out what's going on in the sentence. For example, it does not really affect the subject. Mainly, it affects the predicate, right? It affects the predicate because predicate is usually affected, uh, usually affected by the subject. But here's the thing. The preposition. It's the bridge that leads you in from, from subject to predicate. It leads you from Jamie to Jamie's doing. It leads you from Jamie to Jamie's ministering. It leads you from Jamie to Jamie's poetry. And it leads you from Jamie to Jamie's art being. It leads you from Jamie to Jamie's moving out to the, upon the waters of walking by faith and not by sight. It leads you from Jamie to meeting God where he, where he is. At the fourth watch of the night. To the, see, if anybody hadn't come since they would have been there with Jesus. Uh, stayed with him uh, when he had to push away the crowd, right? They would have stayed with him. We said, go across and meet me on the other side of the sea. 
they would have stayed with him. Lord, I know you said everybody should go, but can I stay and pray with you? I want to learn how to pray better, send the people away better, walk to the shore better. Okay, but see, here's the thing, Jesus ain't had no boat. I just want to know how you want to get to the other side of the shore, Lord. I just think about it. And I, I, once they was walking, I let them go on here, and I turned around and came back. To find out how you going, how you how you gonna meet them on the other side of it. The preposition will lead you from Jamie the subject to Jamie the predicate very quickly, right? So if I were you, a lot of people are storing up themselves treasures on earth, right? The Bible says, store for yourself treasures in heaven, and the rest of dust can broken, and thieves can break through and steal, right? That's Matthew 6, 19 and 21. But if I were you, I would store up for myself prepositions. Meet me, okay, where you want me to meet you, God? In the other, I'm not about, in the this, so bye-bye. Start whipping out prepositions for him to deal with. Where you want me to meet you, God? Bye-bye. Get the word in you, because what makes the word active and living is where it goes from subject, bye-bye, from just what you read from the book that you read, bye-bye, to acting and living, predicate, bye-bye, to where it's active and live inside of you. Bye-bye. It's only inspired while it's in your hands, but when you pick it up, bye-bye, the inspiration hits you when you pick it up. Uh, the inspiration becomes alive inside of you. When you pick it up, you come become uh, inspired and you start inspiring others. When you pick it up, uh, pick it up, read it, and then start living it out. This is the word of God, a sharper, and, and then um, the maybe two-edged sword, right? Uh, 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 it's, it's sharper than a two-edged sword. Because it cuts going in and cuts going out. Blah, blah, blah. I keep telling people they think they got, oh, I got the Bible. I can hit my Bible. I can bang on my Bible real quick. I can smack my Bible. I got my Bible, but your Bible's inside your shirt. It's not inside your heart because of the fact that you are not living it. That's Jamie. God is letting you know right now. I'm telling y'all right now. The thing that my pastor has going with me right now, Jamie, you, we don't need you to apply. I've been telling y'all that for months. Jamie, I'm going to need you to apply, right? I said, what's the difference? Why am I still in subject mode and not in predicate? Because there's a difference between you have the reading the Bible, Jamie, and living the live, active word of God, right? It's the same difference in TNT sitting nice and pretty in your house, right? And it's somebody that's fire coming along and lighting it and igniting it. Uh, then you got a bomb. You ain't got a bomb when TNT is sitting in your house all pretty get it. And you can see the word TNT written across it. When that thing becomes simple, uh, and uh, you see a hole on the top of your ceiling, oh! That's what C4 look like at night. That's when you got a live and active thing. That's when you got the two-edged uh, sword that you should have. That's when you got about uh, something inside your mouth about uh, because uh, out of the bunch of the heart, the mouth speaks. Your heart is speaking uh, uh, for you and through you. That's when you got something about uh, uh, that will win the nations. That's when you got something about uh, uh, that has, that has a gold ye uh, smack onto it. He said, "Go ye into the world and preach the gospel to every living creature." How can you preach to a living creature with a dead Bible? I'm going to be careful how I say this. Because there's billions of Bibles out there. The idiot's Bible. I said, why is it always the idiot that got the Bible? The idiot's Bible to the nice pot of spaghetti. The idiot's Bible to tying your shoe. The idiot's Bible to throwing a good dinner party. The idiot's Bible. Why is it always the idiot that got the Bible? Because the Bible <laughs> belongs to the idiot. Doesn't it? Peter was a mess. But I'm not talking about Peter. The Bible itself is intended for the idiot, right? Because the idiot, right, comes dumb with the dump caps on, or the dump the caps that it's on, right? But does not know what's going on. But it's not too stupid to know or realize that God, I woke up this morning, but it was because you woke me up. See, the smart person walks around with their head on their shoulders thinking, oh, I did it myself. They don't need sick canoe. They got the canoe themselves. They got in the boat and canoe 
canoe themselves. He said canoe, Jehovah said canoe means the God of my righteousness, right? A sit canoe, right? But, but they don't need Jehovah sit canoe because they got in the canoe and they rode themselves, right? Ah, they don't need uh, what God has to offer. They have like a chant, 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 about, and I can do whatever I gotta do to get that. I can take, uh, uh, I can take that. So we have magicians too, and we can throw down our twigs and our sticks, uh, and they become snakes too. Uh, same thing that you can do, we can do, but not better. The idiot knows that if I don't meet God with medicine for myself in the morning, I may not make it to the afternoon. The idiot knows. <laughs> so it may, not, it may be that I am not an idiot, but that I am an idiot savant. Right? Now that I can tell you specifically, I definitely am an idiot savant. I'm Jamie, so I study a lot about one thing, right? And I learn as much as I can about one thing, and then I move on. And when I say I've moved on, I move on. Because I study as much as God wants me to know where I can use it, right, for his glory, and then I move on, right? So my teachers in my high school used to call me and say, and this is in a uh, magnet uh, 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 school, right? They told me, they said, Jamie, you are a jack of all trades. I said, thank you. They say, wait, 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 turn back around here. Jack of all trades. What's into that? Master. Don't make me say it. Master of none. Oddly enough, I didn't feel like I need to master it. Why? Because the only thing that I wanted to master was the word of God and it. So I was the idiot. Because they, according to what they saw, I wasn't mastering any of the sciences. I wasn't mastering any of the science uh, classes that they wanted me to master. But I, I didn't know I wasn't there to master it. I was there to keep Lois happy. At the end of the day, I wanted to be an actor. Nobody knew it. And that just tells you I, I, I was a savant. Because I acted the part of a person that wanted to be there real well. Because I would cut class every day and go there for the final and then ace the finals. So they couldn't fail me. They'd have to give me a C. I played the part very well. But the idiot! And it's hard for me because I, I, I never told me to say the word, the hurt, word hurts me. The idiot, the idiot, the idiot, not the fool. For the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. The fool has said in his heart. You don't know who the fool is by just looking at them because the fool is speaking to his own heart. He says to his own heart. While out of the abundance of the heart, my mouth is speaking, the fool is speaking to his heart. The Bible that tells me to speak to my heart. It says out of the abundance of my heart, my mouth will speak. But the fool is speaking to his heart. And I'm not talking about the fool, I'm talking about the idiot. Just as dumb as I can be, right? Because I rely on a risen savior. Just as dumb as I can be because I can't do this thing and I know I can't do it without him. Just as dumb as I can be because I know, Kababa, if it had not been for the Lord who was on my side, I'm going to have to say, where would I be? I know I would be in the ground. Kababa, I'm just as dumb as I can be, Kababa, I'll be the idiot. To believe about a lot of people come to me, Jamie, not Matthew 17, 20 that you be talking about, Jamie. It ain't literal. What, what who are you to say that? Because I'm the idiot that believes that when God said Matthew 17, 20, speak to the mountain. And wait, let me stop this. Oh, hold on one second, y'all. Pardon me. Hey, come on, 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 come not my mountain but it was a mountain that was there I, I forgot to speak to that flatland something I'm the fool I'll be the fool I'll be the idiot and I've got to preposition myself to believe that the God that said he would come through for me is more than able he's more than able he's more than Cain he's more than Adam he's more than Eve y'all know me I'm playing with the words a bit I'm not he's more than the able that Paul gave him he's more than exceedingly abundantly above all that I can ask and hope or imagine once I I'm telling y'all what happened I asked God for one thing and I said I'm going to believe you for the exceedingly abundantly and I went and I'm been really went in 
in believing and praying about it and I, I forgot what the thing was uh, as a matter of fact I forgot what the thing was until I saw oh uh, it was already in my pocket uh, I already had it plus more bye -bye. God it came in bye -bye. God worked that thing out so quick bye -bye. he's just looking bye -bye, for you to walk out uh, with him he's looking for you to be the idiot bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. people don't people won't like that word because the thing is you are calling me bye -bye. something that the world has said bye -bye. it's negative right and, a, and not really what I am saying and it's, I see idiots as sort of being ignorant about to the whole process of it about I'm Jamie I don't need to know that uh what's going on on TV it's enough nothing of nonsensical nature it's of stupidity I don't have to watch the TV to know that it's not beneficial for me I could go with God and say God what shows you want me to watch I don't have to fill my uh, my spiritual lungs with uh spiritual sense to, to know that it's not beneficial or good enough or well, good for me I don't have to smoke spiritual cigarettes about uh, 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 puff puff give uh, uh, to know that what's in them is cancer um, and, come, uh, uh, and it's not good for me I don't have to taste the uh, uh, what is it the piece of fruit uh, 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 on the tree to know that because God said not to eat it uh, 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 touch not the unclean thing uh, uh, that I should not touch it I don't have to taste it uh, uh, he said oh taste and see that the Lord is good uh, 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 blessed is a man that trusteth in him uh, uh, what does that mean it means uh, 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 when he said oh taste and see that the Lord is good uh, uh, when we taste and see uh, uh, he's saying when you taste you will We'll see. Bye -bye. Uh, bet that. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bid on it. Oh, no. Bet that. Bye -bye. Will you, when you taste God, Bye -bye. you will see. Uh, people say, that I tried God and he didn't work. Then you didn't really taste him. You didn't really try him. Because he said, try me now in this. The Malachi 310 uh, says, the Lord of hosts, uh, the Bible says, uh, the Bible says, uh, if you really try him, the Bible. <laughs> Come on. Bye -bye. I, can't, I can't say no play. Now. Bye -bye. Wait one more time for the Holy Spirit. The Bible, because they don't lie. So if, it's, if, if it didn't work, then it's because of you. You don't work.